When I began as CEO and president of OPPD in July, I set a goal to visit as many of our facilities and communities in my first 100 days as possible. So I might learn firsthand about what's on the hearts and minds of our employees, of our customers and our communities. I've met with hundreds of employees, community leaders and customer owners all over our service territory. And even though it felt like I was doing a lot of talking, in reality, I've done my best to listen and to learn from everyone I've encountered through your questions, through the dialogue we've had. Even in this short time, I've learned so much. One thing I noted is that though we all have beautiful and important differences to celebrate, we also share even more than I had imagined. Perhaps most importantly, we share many of the same hopes for our future. We all want affordable, reliable energy, no matter what the future holds. Now, we all understand the importance electricity plays in all of our lives. You know, it powers a technology that keeps us healthy, safe, productive, and thriving. Employees, customers, and stakeholders alike have all shared that they know affordable, reliable energy should be available to all so that we all may thrive. Now that may sound like a simple statement, but it's deeply profound. In a world that often feels polarized, we all want one another to have access to the energy that has powered our collective growth and well-being. Now, we also want our children and our grandchildren to grow up in a cleaner, safer world. It doesn't matter who I've talked to, we all talk about the future in similar terms, about providing a better place for our children, grandchildren, family, friends, and generations to come. Though we may have different thoughts on what better might look like, we all love our communities and the natural beauty we find all around us. And we want to protect that, not just for our enjoyment, but for the enjoyment of those who will follow. Something else we share is our gratitude. Gratitude to those who came before us. 75 years ago, we became a public power entity thanks to George Norris, a United States Senator from Nebraska. Now, this was a big deal in 1946, but public power ensured our rural customer owners were able to get electricity in their homes, a scarce commodity in rural America at that time. In the 1950s and 1960s, OPPD employees would go door to door to sell electric appliances. Now, this was innovation back then. Those employees enabled us to broaden our customer base and build a wider distribution network. They believed, as we still do, in the power of electricity to improve all of our lives. And they embraced their roles as change makers. Fast forward, in the 1980s, we built Energy Plaza East at our corporate headquarters uh, here in downtown, downtown Omaha. The architects and engineers built it using the most up-to-date technology including using 250-ton coolers full of ice to help keep the building cool. Now, at the time, that was a revolutionary concept. Today, we have just under 1,900 employees working to support our mission, building on the work of those who came before us. Now, I wonder what will future OPPD employees will thank us for? We are facing change in our industry, just like those before us, and those who came before them. Now, many employees have asked me, what will the future mean for me, for my work? And the honest answer is, I don't know. We will all figure this out, as we always have. And that excites me. I am excited because what I do know is that in our 75 years as the Omaha Public Power District, we have relied on employees, customers, and the amazing communities we serve to help us grow succeed, see the future, meet our customers' needs, help our communities thrive. That has not changed, and that will keep us powering the future for the next 75 years.